Hi students, how are you? Hope that all of you are doing great. See, in this video, we are going to discuss about polynomials. Let us try to understand the definition and types of polynomials. So, polynomials. You know what is meant by a polynomial? So, what is the definition of a polynomial? A polynomial is simply an algebraic expression. See an algebraic expression of the form p of x is equal to a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus a n is called a polynomial of degree n. So how do you define an nth degree polynomial? Nth degree polynomial is an algebraic expression of the form p of x is equal to a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus a n. Now a0, a1, a2, etc, a n are real numbers. Here a0, a1, a2, etc, a n are real numbers. Real numbers are denoted by capital R. So A0, A1, A2, etc, AN are real numbers and these are called coefficients of the polynomial. These are coefficients of the polynomial and also clearly A0 should not be equal to 0. A0 not be, not, uh, should not be equal to 0. And how about the power N? n should be a non-negative integer. So what do you mean by a non-negative integer? Non-negative integers are, are nothing but whole numbers. So n, the n can take values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So this is a general form of a polynomial of degree n. So how do you define a polynomial of degree n? A polynomial of degree n is an algebraic expression of the form p of x is equal to a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus a n. Here a0, a1, a2, etc, a n are all real numbers and they are called coefficients of the polynomial and also a0 should not be 0. And what is n? n is a non-negative integer. Non-negative integer means n can take values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Now let us see some examples. See, suppose we are given a polynomial p of x is equal to 2x square plus 3x plus 1. Clearly, this is a polynomial. So, what are the coefficients? Coefficients are 2, 3 and 1. The coefficients are real numbers. And what is n here? Here n is equal to 2. n is the highest power of the variable. What is the variable in this polynomial? That x is the variable. And highest, what is the highest power of the variable? Highest power of the variable here is 2. Here the power of the variable is 1. x means x raised to 1. Here the power is 2. So the highest power of the variable is called the degree of the polynomial. So this is a second degree polynomial. So this is a polynomial of degree 2. So how about if p of x is equal to p of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Again this is a polynomial because the coefficients are 2 and minus 1. They are real numbers. And what is the power of x? It is 1, x raised to 1. So this is a polynomial of degree 1. This is a polynomial of degree 1. So these are polynomials. Now let us consider some expression. Uh, consider 2x square minus 3 root x plus 1. Is it a polynomial or not? See, 2x square minus 3 root x plus 1. See, what is your opinion? Is it a polynomial? 
See, to check whether this is a polynomial or not, first of all, let us try to express it in standard form. So, this can be written as 2x square minus 3 root x. What is square root of x? Square root of x is x raised to 1 by 2. That means if we remove this radical sign, the base should be raised to the power 1 by 2. What is root 3? It is 3 raised to 1 by 2. Correct. What is root 2? It is 2 raised to 1 by 2. So square root means base should be raised to the power 1 by 2. So this is 2x square minus 3x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1. Now it is clear that what is the power of x here? The power of x is 1 by 2. It is not an integer. Is it? Or it is not a whole number. Since the power of x is not a whole number, but it is a fraction here. So this is not a polynomial. So we can say that this is not a polynomial. Again, suppose we are given the expression P of x is equal to some x square plus 2x plus 1 by root 2. Is it, is it a polynomial? So here, how about the coefficients? Coefficients are 1, 2 and 1 by root 2. Here the coefficients are 1, 2 and 1 by root 2. All these are real numbers. Is it? 1 is a real number. Again, 2 is a real number. How about 1 by root 2? Well, see, we have seen that root 2 is an irrational number. Isn't it? What is real number? Real number is the union of rational and irrational numbers. So, rational numbers means, I think all these concepts are quite known to you. See, real numbers means it is the union of rational and irrational numbers. It is the union of rational and irrational numbers. Rational and irrational numbers. What do you mean by rational numbers? A rational number is a number which can be expressed in the form P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. And what is meant by irrational number? Irrational number means number which numbers which are not rational are called irrational numbers. Examples for irrational numbers are root 2, root 3, pi etc. All these are irrational numbers. So, here 1 by root 2 is an irrational number. So, it is again a real number. So, the coefficients 1, 2 and 1 by root 2 are real numbers. And how about the powers? Here the power of x is 1. Here the power of x is 2. So, the powers are whole numbers. So, this is a polynomial. So, how will you define an nth degree polynomial? An nth degree polynomial is defined as P of x is equal to a0 x raised to n plus an x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus an. Here a0, a1, a2 etc, a, a, an are real numbers and they are called the coefficients of the polynomial and a0 not equal to 0. And how about the power n? n should be a non-negative integer. A non-negative integers means n can take values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And we have seen some examples also. Now based on degree, this polynomial can be classified into constant polynomial, linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial and biquadratic polynomial. Let us try to understand the types of polynomials. Next is types of polynomials. Types. So, first one is constant polynomial. And the second is linear polynomial. And the third is quadratic polynomial and the last one is biquadratic polynomial these are the four types of polynomials 
based on the degree. See a constant polynomial, first of all a constant polynomial. What do you mean by a constant polynomial? A polynomial of the form f of x is equal to some constant. So constant polynomial is of the form f of x is equal to some constant. For example, f of x is equal to f of x is equal to what we can say 7 is a constant polynomial. f of x is equal to minus 1 is a constant polynomial. So what is the degree of a constant polynomial? Can you say what is the degree of a constant polynomial? Constant polynomial is of degree 0. So a constant polynomial can be defined as a polynomial of degree 0. Because so let us consider f of x is equal to 7. This can be written as f of x is equal to 7 x raised to 0. What is x raised to 0? x raised to 0 is 1. It is 7 into 1 that is 7 itself. So constant polynomial means uh, of the form f of x is equal to constant. For example, f of x equal to 7 is a constant polynomial. How will you write f of x is equal to 7? f of x is equal to 7 is nothing but f of x equal to 7 into x raised to 0. What is x raised to 0? 1. Any non-zero base raised to a power 0 is 1. You know that 100 raised to 0, what is that? 1. 2 raised to 0, 1. 8 raised to 0, 1. Any non-zero base raised to a power 0 is 1. But 0 raised to 0 is not defined. So f of x is equal to 7x raised to 0. So this is a polynomial of degree 0. A polynomial of degree 0 is called a constant polynomial. A constant polynomial is of the form f of x is equal to c. And the second one is linear polynomial. So linear polynomial means a first degree polynomial. So here constant polynomial means degree 0. So how about linear polynomial? Linear polynomial is of the form f of x is equal to ax plus b. Linear polynomial is of the form f of x is equal to ax plus b. How about the degree of the polynomial? Degree is equal to 1. So a first degree polynomial is called a linear polynomial. For example, f of x is equal to x is a linear polynomial. What is the degree of x? x means x raised to 1. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 is a linear polynomial. Here also the degree of x is equal to 1. This is a first degree polynomial. f of x is equal to 1 by 2x plus root 3 is a linear polynomial. So here 1 by 2 and root 3 are coefficients and what is the power of x? Power of x is 1. So this is a linear polynomial. So linear polynomial means a first degree polynomial. A polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. Then next is quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial means a second degree polynomial is called a quadratic polynomial. For example, quadratic polynomial, the general form of a quadratic polynomial is f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a not equal to 0. In this case also a not equal to 0. See f of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a not equal to 0 is called a quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial means it is a second degree polynomial. So for example f of x is equal to x square is a quadratic polynomial. What is the degree of this polynomial uh, it is 2. So f of x equal to x square is a quadratic polynomial. f of x is equal to x square plus root 2 x plus 3 by 2 is a quadratic polynomial. Here the coefficients are 1 root 2 and 3 by 2. All the coefficients are real numbers and how about the powers of the variable 2 and 1 they are positive integers. So this is a quadratic polynomial of degree so this is a quadratic polynomial. A second degree polynomial is called a quadratic polynomial. And then uh, one more thing is there. Cubic polynomial is there. And the third one, let us consider cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial. After uh, discussing cubic polynomial, we will move on to by quadratic polynomial. So what is meant by cubic polynomial? Cubic polynomial means it is the third degree polynomial. As the very name indicates, 
it is a third degree polynomial. So what will be the general form of a cubic polynomial? f of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Here a not equal to 0 is the general form of a cubic polynomial. For example, f of x is equal to x cube is a cubic polynomial. f of x is equal to x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 is a cubic polynomial. So cubic polynomial means a polynomial of degree 3. So a polynomial of degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial. And the fourth type is biquadratic polynomial. Biquadratic polynomial. What do you mean by biquadratic polynomial? A polynomial of degree 4. So what will be the general form of a biquadratic polynomial? P of x is equal to a x raised to 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus b x plus e. Where a not equal to 0. So biquadratic polynomial is nothing but a fourth degree polynomial. So the general form of a biquadratic polynomial is p of x is equal to a x raised to 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus b x plus e. So uh, it's a polynomial of degree 4. By quadratic polynomial means it is a polynomial of degree 4. So as an example, let us consider 2x raised to 4 plus 3x plus 1 is a by quadratic polynomial. What is the degree of this polynomial? It is 4. So this is an example for by quadratic polynomial. Is it clear? So now we have seen definition of a polynomial and the types of polynomial. So what do you mean by a polynomial? A polynomial of degree n in variable x is an algebraic expression of the form f of x is equal to a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus a n. Here the coefficients a0, a1, a2, etc. n are real numbers and n the power should be a non-negative integer. And we have seen some such examples. And the next we have we have also seen the types of polynomial. Depending upon the degree of polynomial, the polynomial can be classified as constant polynomial, linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, cubic polynomial, and biquadratic polynomial. Constant polynomial means a polynomial of degree 0. It is of the form f of x equal to c. Linear polynomial means it is a polynomial of degree 1. A polynomial of degree 2 or a second degree polynomial is called a quadratic polynomial. And a third degree polynomial is called a cubic polynomial. And a fourth degree polynomial is called a biquadratic polynomial. So for the time being it is enough. In our next video we will discuss about root or zeros of a polynomial and we will do some uh, God examination question also. In every class we will do, we will mainly focus on God examination questions. So do one thing, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also please press the bell icon also. So in our next video we will discuss about zeros of a polynomial. Till then, bye.